estuaries formed by rivers, the tides and the waves in the sea. These flows move sand and mud and spread plants and animals. It takes centuries to form the dynamic living landscapes that we live on today, find buried in the subsurface and see shreds and pieces of and puzzles in outcrops. Now wouldn't it be great if we could make estuaries in the lab, reduce them in size by a thousand times and see them develop a thousand times faster? So we need a method that moves the sand with the same force as in reality. This force mainly depends on water depth, which we want to reduce, and water surface gradient. So I invented a flume that drives the ebb and flood flow by tilting rhythmically all the time. The metronome. This creates currents strong enough to move the sand. A bit of river and waves are simple to add. We keep the sea at constant depth by counter movement of the weir at the rimfall. And where flowing water moves sand, we get patterns of channels and bars. These depend mainly on the width of the channel. The sand needs to be coarse enough to prevent ripples and scour holes, which occur more easily because of the low turbulence. Now we need mud to fill the accommodation space in the shallow and quiet flows. We use crushed nutshell with a range of sizes, which is light enough to be suspended onto the bars and banks. Finally, we need plants that do not grow in shallow water and stay small. We tested and pestered tens of species and found four that mimic the hydraulic resistance and rooting of salt marsh and of riverbank vegetation. With the invention of the metronome, we can now complement computer modeling. The metronome opens up all sorts of possibilities for experimentation on tidal systems, and much of it already works in a 3 meter long mini metronome. We have created estuaries a thousand times smaller and faster than in reality, and they are beautiful to watch. We can now, for the first time, isolate effects of processes such as eco-engineering species, conditions such as sea level rise, and even a child in you knows how to dredge and dump sediment.